Hello, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. This is Mal with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you your daily Divine Masculine love reading for the day commencing Wednesday, May 6, 2020. Just a special announcement. Um, I will be doing personal readings up until Sunday. And I've decided that I'm not going to do any personal readings during, <clears throat> during a waning moon. I've been finding lately that the energies just seem to be, it's not like they weigh down so heavily. It's just, I see that a lot of times within the cards, there's a lot of frustrations and so I think for manifestation purposes and for my clients, it's best to do readings from the new moon to the full moon where manifestations are growing. That's not to say that manifestations can't happen during a waning moon. But what a, meaning, a waning moon is really symbolizing is your shadow side and the things that need to release out of your life, the things that are no longer serving your highest purpose. But I find that the energy seem to be, I guess you can say more bountiful or more um, powerful when we go from the new moon when the moon is dark and then it starts to increase till we get to that full moon. So if you like to book a personal reading with me, um, you have until Sunday to book a reading, okay? And then the next time around, or if, if you like to do a reading, but maybe you're not energetically feeling the pull for this weekend because the energy of the full moon, let's put it this way, the energy of the full moon, which is going to be tomorrow in the sign of Scorpio, this is all about change and transformation. That energy is usually lasts three days after the full moon. And then we go into basically the shadow side of the moon. Okay. So, it's really an energy thing because I do feel <clears throat> it does affect the subconscious thoughts because your subconscious thoughts will come through your questions and it will reflect through the cards. Okay. So, um, you can book with me up until this Sunday and then, or you can book in advance between May 20th, when we go into the sign of Gemini, the new moon in Gemini, and book a reading between May 20th and June 7th, okay? So, wherever you feel the pull, if you'd like to <clears throat> experience a reading with me, I always go above and, above and beyond the time frame. All of my specials right now uh, will be listed in the description box below. The pricing cannot be beat, and I go above and beyond for my clients. So, with my energy and the cards, and you know, there's been times where even one question <laughs> could go almost a half hour. Okay, um, it just depends on where the spirits are guiding the cards to go, how they are making me interpret the energies, okay? So, um, normally I charge $25 for a half hour or $50 for a reading, but I'm going to be running these specials. I've been running these specials almost, I feel like I want to say at least three weeks or a month now. Um, maybe just a little over a month. Uh, I've been running the specials that are listed, okay? So you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and all payments are made through PayPal. So whether it's a donation to my channel or it is 
to purchase a reading, okay? So let's dive in to this reading. Let's clear out the energies. roll the dice divine feminine and divine masculine okay we have the number one some of you are dealing with Capricorn or Aquarius energy but with the number one it is about leadership it is about new beginnings it's about taking full responsibility for your actions um, charging ahead charging ahead with um, victorious thoughts okay the number 10 well the number 10 is about the end of cycles Okay, in order to get to the one. All right, so some of you are dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. And what is that number? The number six, some of you are dealing with Gemini. Gemini or um, Cancerian, Divine Masculine Energy. Now I'm looking at the numbers, it would be 11, 1106. Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio that was born on November 6th, or maybe you have a birthday that's November 6th. Could be January 10th, January 6th, January 16th. Could be October 1st, October 6th, October 10th. Looking at variable numbers here. Some of you could have been born on the 1st, the 10th, the 11th, the 6th, the 16th. And when I add up the numbers, 6, 1, and 1 is 8. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. Or <clears throat> either you or your person was born on the 8th or born in the 8th month of the year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 6 to the 110. That brings me to the number 116, so you'll have to bear with me. But again, the number 8 is residing very powerfully. Like I said, the last few days and even into last part of last week, I was getting the number 11, 5, 8, just repeating itself over and over and over. So <clears throat> that number 11 is like the twin flame soulmate connection with the number 6. Usually, I see straight up right away the the four sixes within the within the tarot deck. So, six of pentacles, equal give and take, equal reciprocity, not being one sided. The six of wands, somebody is wanting to return and recognize your energy, recognize you, divine feminine, for who you are, and victory and achievement can come through um, the six of wands, the six of cups. Six of Cups energy is about reconciliation, blast from the past energy, somebody that you feel you have known all of your life, okay, um, could literally be somebody from your childhood or grade school, preschool, high school, college sweethearts, crushes, that type of energy, or business associates, and the Six of Swords, Indicating that somebody is going to be getting out of a murky situation with the number eight. It's obviously Leo energy when I see that coming through through the strength card. Some may still some of the divine masculines may still be in the eight of swords mode, still feeling a little tied down, a little trapped. But a lot of that is due to their own choices. And not being strong enough to take the you know, take the blindfolds off to get out of their own Harry Houdini self-imposed prison. Could also be eight of hearts or eight of cups energy. Walking away from a situation that's no longer serving their highest purpose. And also too with the eight of wands. Eight of wands, rapid fire communication, travel, Travel, unexpected messages just coming in out of the blue. With the number 11, Justice card, 
justice card kicking in in my mind's eye. Some of you could be dealing straight up with also two with the number 11, Libra, Libra energy. So justice, fairness, peace, and balance within the romantic dynamics of your situation. With the number 10, wheel of fortune energy. Things that are fated and destined to be karma, good karma or bad karma, or things are getting ready to turn around for the better. And with the number six, Gemini energy kicking in through the lovers, lovers activity. So a lot of strong cards, energetically speaking, through the numbers right now, we shall see, um, we shall see which one of those cards may want to come up today. Because I do feel that a few of those may, may pop up. They just might. Okay. So here we go. Let's dive in. We're going to go to number 116. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, <clears throat> 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Keep in mind that not all messages are going to resonate for every single divine feminine or divine masculine energy, but I could say that one thing and it will be like the aha moment, okay? This will be a seven card spread. All signs get represented across the board. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aries, Leo, and Sag, okay? So Divine Feminine pulling from the top of the deck. Here we go. Strength card, Leo, Leo energy. The Divine Masculine is trying to find the strength and the courage, I say, to come forward. Thank you, my spirit guides. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. A little bit of Virgo energy coming in through the strength card as well. There is fluidity and success that is kicking in here, despite appearances. This is my favorite card. This is honestly, I mean, I do actually have a couple favorite uh, cards, but whenever I see this energy, it just... It's like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast coming forward, you know. Maybe some of you like the movie Beauty and the Beast. But yes, take a good look at that. Strength. The lion is being tamed. And it's like a magical quality. Look at how that number eight infinity sign, it's just, it's almost as if like, the magician is swirling, in a sense, behind the scenes, swirling that magical number eight above the lion. Kind of gives me a little bit of goosebumps when I just said that. Your Divine Masculine could have been taking some nature walks. Maybe just, you know, stepping outside of their house. Just taking in, breathing in some fresh air. 
Clearing the mind. Beautiful. <clears throat> and on the bottom of the deck before I shuffle, sign of Scorpio kicking in through the death card. Change and transformation. And we are headed into the full moon in Scorpio tomorrow. Yep. The energy, that, that Scorpio moon tomorrow is going to, if you guys have clear skies, it is going to be a beautiful moon. I think you're going to feel, you're going to feel that energy kicking in because I always do with the Scorpio moon. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I say? Wheel of Fortune. My spirit guides are on fire right now. Change and turn of events for the better. Some of you could be um, dealing with somebody who has the letter T, the letter A, the letter R, or the letter O within their name. But we have some of the fixed signs here. We got the sign of Scorpio, sign of Taurus, sign of Aquarius, and the sign of Leo again. What is fated and destined to be will be. And it could also be, too, that <clears throat> the Divine Masculine has gotten a little bit of karma as well. But I say that we'll see what the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in, okay? We'll see how that is affecting the Divine Masculine energy. But I'm feeling, a, um, how do I want to say this? It's like uh, I'm seeing like somebody, it's like a punching bag, you know, somebody getting ready to, you know, you know just punch. You know, there's an energy force that's going to be kicking in. Maybe some of your divine masculines do kickboxing. I was picking up on that energy a few days ago, and I can't remember if it was in my last divine masculine reading or the one before that, or if it was in a daily Scorpio uh, love reading. But um, change and turn of events, number 10. 10, again, representing an end of a cycle, so something new can come forward. So already two major arcanas that are amplifying the energy of the divine masculine right now and look at on the bottom of the deck justice you guys i am on fire my spirit guides are on fire right now justice number 11 comes right after the wheel of fortune look at that it's right there all right here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's see what's up lover's activity you guys come on now the energies are intense i'm telling you this scorpio moon is trying to bring in this transformation again some of you are dealing with the sign of gemini these cards picking up the energy i'm telling you guys numbers do not lie numbers are facts beautiful change and turn of events within the dynamics so part of me just wants to stop the reading right here. <laughs> I just want to stop the reading right here. This is incredible. Boom, boom, boom. Love it. Lover's activity. Wow. There is going to be a rebirth. The reason why I say that is because that death card was on the bottom of the deck. There will be. There's there's going to be revitalization. I'm also picking up a little bit of judgment card. Judgment card energy kicking in here. We'll see. We'll see if that wants to kick in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six. Number six. Okay. Let's see what's up. Okay. I called it out. Six of cups. Reconciliation, you guys. Blast from the past energy. Somebody that you've known for quite a while or had a really deep, intense relationship with, some of you are in communication with your person, some of you are having sporadic communication, and some of you have had no communication at all, but blast from the past energy is kicking in, a soulmate energy, twin flame energy. There's a sense of innocence that is trying to make its way forward, I say to also heal the relationship because I'm also seeing temperance, temperance kicking in as well to balance out the ebb and flow. Six of cups, beautiful. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy on the board right now. Beautiful. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay. Okay, the seven of wands, there could still be, you know, some challenges going on or it's either you divine feminine or your divine masculine that is trying to work through the challenges and the obstacles. Sometimes it might be easier to work through than to try to overcome. Because with the word overcome, I get the word exhaustion. It could very well be that your divine masculines are feeling exhausted within their environment but we'll see is somebody going on the attack are they going on the defense is somebody being guarded here i see it's working through the challenges and obstacles why strength change and turn of events for the better lovers activity six of cups blast from the past somebody coming back in for reconciliation they could be, I mean, it could be for some of you that, you know, your divine uh, masculine could be, they could be feeling a little worried that, you know, you might go on the attack or on the defense, but I'm picking up a lot of love here. That's the thing. Lovers in the Six of Cups, fate and destiny, destino, what is meant to be. It is written in the stars. We are stardust. There are no mistakes in the universe. There are no mistakes in the good book. There are no mistakes in Mother God and Father God's heavenly plan of action for your life. The stars are aligned exactly they, the way they need to be. It is precision. And it is no mistake that this person came into your life. And despite the challenges or the obstacles, I do feel that this person, that even if they haven't told you that they are grateful that you are in their life or that they know you and what you did bring to the table despite any kind of petty arguments or anything that um, got in the way of your relationship or whatever dismantled the relationship. Somebody has not forgotten somebody here. This is a powerful read right now. Three major arcanas in a row with emotional healing. There's love here. But I also feel, too, that there's some passion, Aries, Leo, Sag uh, energy coming in through the Seven of Wands. This Divine Masculine, it looks like they're, they're going to try to beat something off with a stick. All the other challenging wands that may be in front of them. See what else is going on. See, on the bottom of the deck, five of swords, dirty bird conflict, petty arguments, not seeing eye to eye, those, those types of energies and third party situations, they have been conflicted. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Seven. They're wanting to have it all with you, Divine Feminine. Look at the ten. This is a different kind of ending. It's a positive, happy ending. Ten of Pentacles. This is about marriage, marriage proposals, coming together, harmonization within the families. Some of you, your relationships were destroyed and dismantled by family members. But this is about creating a family. And there's loyalty I love it when the imagery of the dogs kick in. Some of you could be dog owners or your divine masculine is a dog owner. <clears throat> Male or female doesn't matter. But there's loyalty that is here. Children, energy of children want to come forward. There's a sense of comfortability monetarily too. 
something drastically could have changed within their um, in their finances, a change or turn of events for them within their finances, whether it was good or bad. But I'm feeling kind of a, a better pull here. I say that they're going to do whatever it takes to get to this Ten of Pentacles with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. They're going to be sending out the emotional SOS. Three of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy kicking back in again. again okay? Just need, uh, let's see, I've got my earth signs, I've got water signs, fire signs, I just need more air. I got a little touch of Aquarius going on in the Wheel of Fortune, okay? But um, they're planning. They've already started planning Divine Feminine because the Two of Wands indicates vision, sometimes being at a crossroads or making affirmative plans and then putting it into motion. So they're in a waiting process right now. For some of them, if you're at a distance from one another, yes, there are travel arrangements that are being made. Some of you know about it and some of you don't know about it. I do feel that there is some form of practicality that is going on in this Three of Wands activity. Some of them could be literally packing up their place ahead of time in order to come and be with you. Ten of Pentacles. This is a beautiful reading, you guys. It's like, do I dare clarify? But I have to because that, you have to kind of, you have to know what propels something or someone or a situation to get to these goals or why does somebody want to change? Why does somebody want to return? What had transpired with the Wheel of Fortune in order to draw in the Lover's Activity or the Ten of Pentacles? How did one get their strength? What motivated or compelled this person to send the ships out, to get ready, to plan? Part of it is knowing from the Divine Masculine that the two of you are fated and destined to be. So that tells me somebody must have gotten a spiritual awakening. So let's see what's going on. Ha, bottom of the deck, chariot. I told you, they're planning on traveling. Look at chariot. Some of you are dealing with Cancerians. Yep. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> and ten. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, and three. All right, let's see what's going on with this clarification here. Oh, wow. A lot of strong, solid energy going on for this reading today. I'm going to praise and thank the energy of the sign of Scorpio with this full moon energy change and transformation because I am feeling it. All right, clarifying the energy of the strength. Where is this strength coming in from Archangel Michael and Goddess Diana for the Divine Masculine? Why? Why are they... Charging ahead. What? What is it? Because they know that you are their queen or king of diamonds. The queen and king of diamonds commands and demands full blown out commitment. So what I'm hearing 
two-sided here. They are learning to really commit to themselves. Nobody can commit to anybody if you can't commit to yourself first or be a woman of your word to yourself or a man of your word to yourself. They know that whether you're a male or female, divine feminine, they know that you deserve to have it all. They know that you desire full blown out commitment, whether you want to be married or not. Okay. Some of you really do want to get married and a lot of you just rather not have to sign papers, things like that. But you know that you want to stay committed and focused, you know, just long term. Okay. But a lot of you do want to see a ring on it. And they know that you deserve this. They know that you are meant to have it all, that you deserve to have it all. So they're trying to find the strength to bring in this Ten of Pentacles energy for the Queen of Diamonds. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again on the board. What is this fate and change, turn of events, Archangel Michael, Goddess Diana? What is changing or is it karma? What is going on? Okay. They've had some time to think this over. This is a short-term sabbatical, four swords. They've had to go within, but not necessarily go into full-blown-out hermit mode. They needed some time to take a step back. You know, they could have, it could have taken them four days, four hours, four minutes, four weeks, four months, possibly four years. That would be long-term hermit mode. So I would say maybe up to four months that it's taken them to, to think about this connection. The energy of the universe had to to kind of build you guys up separately. They, they had to pull you guys apart because there was too much conflict. Conflict from outside forces, outside influences with that Five of Swords activity. In order for the two of you to grow individually because the last thing that the two of you want to be is codependent on each other. Being able to think as individuals. So, message from the lovers. Wow. Some of them, you will find out that they are recently single or they have still stayed single since the breakup. But wanting to go into this lover's activity. But they also see you too, Divine Feminine, that you are also gaining back your courage, your strength, and confidence. And even if they haven't said anything, somehow, some way, they know about this. So you go from the nine to the ten. There's a leveling up. So even the divine masculine has been working on their finances for this relationship. Message from the six of cups. The two of diamonds. The reason why... They're returning is because they're done dealing with the circus act, the choppy waters, the lions, the tigers, and bears, and the flying monkeys. Could be the reason why the seven of wands is kicking in for them to defend or ward off or work through uh, obstacles, work through challenges to get to the ten. So we'll see. But they, 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 they almost feel imbalanced without you because the number six is about balance there's a sweetness and a gentleness that is here they miss you they're reminiscing about the past when times were good thinking also too about how all of this circus act uh catastrophe has been going on in their environment 
Message from the Seven of Wands. The Four of Diamonds. In the past, yes. They held back certain feelings and emotions and thoughts. It could be that they're holding back information right now, either from you, Divine Feminine, or it's you and outside forces, outside influences, because see, somebody here is taking, is, as far as I'm concerned, with the Three of Wands, yes, this is forward movement. I think they're holding back information about reconciliation with you and not telling it to the circus act because here they're trying to find strength in order to return to the queen of diamonds i'm going to clarify that for diamonds just a little bit further Kind of feeling a pull with this four of spears. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. What do you want to clarify? Okay. The reason why they feel guilty. <clears throat> they don't want to feel guilty anymore. They don't want to be crying over spilled milk anymore. Five of hearts. You go from the five to the six. The only way for them to get the ten is to make a choice. They know that for some of them, their family members were a circus act for some of them. And what some of you might have experienced. They know that the, the, their families, for some of them, destroyed the relationship. The mothers, the fathers, the sisters, the brothers. They have a lot of gab and gossipers in their family. I'm not going to lie. They do. All right. So for some of them. But... They have guilt, remorse, regret, and I don't think they want to feel this way anymore because of the strength card. They know that the two of you are meant to be together, but this person, your divine counterpart, might have not have felt that they had enough money either. So some of the energy is due to money, not like you feel divine feminine that that should make a difference. Well, love and money do go hand in hand. To some degree. Because you don't want to be fighting and arguing over money issues either. But there's, it's about independence. It's about being confident. So they don't really want to feel guilty anymore. They don't want to hold back. They're going to work through their challenges and their obstacles. But I feel that they are not telling anybody what their long-term plans are or that they're going to come back and reconcile. They're not saying, I feel like they're not saying anything to anybody because of the guilt, remorse, regret. And for some of them, they don't want the family to get inter, you know, interfere again, for their mothers to interfere again, for their sisters to interfere again, their brothers, their aunts, uncles. It could be third-party situations, like I said. If it's an ex-girlfriend or soon-to-be ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, soon-to-be ex-boyfriend, karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend, ex-wife, ex-husband, soon-to-be ex-wife, soon-to-be ex-husband, whatever the case may be. Three of Wands. Let's see what's up. See, they're going to they're gonna reach out with energetic communication. Some good fire energy going on here today. Aries Leo Sag. I've got all signs represented across the board. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're all here, okay? So passionately, they, they want to reach out passionately, energetically. I think they're trying to plan on what to say within the text message or the phone call. But I will say this. The Jack of Clubs can come in as a Knight of Wands. And for some of you, yes, in the past, they were a player. 
However, Knight of Wands can also represent a relocation. If somebody's coming back to reconcile and wanting to have this Ten of Pentacles and this lover's activity and they know that you're fated and destined to be and they're getting the courage and the strength, this is about relocating. So again, like I said, some of you are at a distance from one another, okay? Now, some of you are local, both live in the same town, same city. <clears throat> so that could mean, you know, being under the same roof. So right now, the major key players within this reading for clarification is the Queen of Diamonds and the Jack of Clubs, who want to talk more energetically about this dynamic going on right now, currently. But something's going on here. I'm also picking up how. How are they going to get out of the Two of Diamonds as well to get to the Six of Cups? So I'm getting an energetic pull there. Okay, let's see what's going on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just seeing here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. All right, ah, on the bottom of the deck, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. Somebody who's coming in to be more emotionally available, beautiful, trustworthiness coming in as well. Okay, let's see here. We're going to clarify five more energies. Okay, message from the Queen of Diamonds. Ah, there we go. Here you go, you guys. That chariot energy. They are preparing, they are gearing up to travel and come and see you. They've got the courage and the strength. So this could be happening between July and August for some of you. I'd like to see that happen before that. But it could be due to, if they live in the United States, it, it might have to do when the states are opening or when they feel that good surge of energy. Say, okay, I think... Let me pack up my shit, basically, and uh, I'm going to jump in my car, and I'm going to charge ahead to victory. So we've got a major arcana here to clarify, okay? What was going on, Archangel Michael, during this Four of Swords moment being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune, Fate, and Destiny? What were they thinking about, or what was transpiring in this Four of Swords moment? What was going on? They were holding back, basically. They needed to hold back to think over the connection. And it could be, like I said, they may not be telling outside forces, outside influences what their plans are. Because I, you know what? I'm kind of picking up the moon energy. They're keeping certain things a secret. They don't want conflict. They don't want conflict. They, they, this guilt, remorse, regret. They, they just don't want to feel that anymore. They want to be victorious. My major victory is coming in right now. Is this Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Chariot, the Strength card, Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. So I say, they've been saving, uh, some of them have been saving up their money on the side, trying to do their best to keep track on their savings account for some of them. 
Because here with the nine of diamonds, you've got somebody who is trying to own up, take full responsibility for their actions, be confident, be self-assured, self-efficient, entrepreneurship to help build up the relationship and get to this ten of pentacles. I think they, like I said, I think they feel bad that they didn't have or thought that they didn't have enough to provide for the relationship for some of them. A lot of you just wanted them to walk away from certain family members and, and have them stop putting lying, deceitful people before you, before the relationship. What is the energy between the Six of Cups and the Two of Diamonds? How is this Divine Masculine energy? How are they getting into the Six of Cups mode? They're going to take a chance. They're going to take a risk and a gamble. A lot of fire energy. Again, Aries Leo Sag. Some of you are dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. They're going to take a chance. They're going to take a risk and a gamble. And just do it. The King of Wands has a tendency to get very impatient because the King of Wands is a mover and a shaker as well. Just like the King of Pentacles. Message from the Four of Diamonds. What are they holding back? Okay. I think they're holding back from other outside forces, outside influences, whatever they feel they need to ward off or fight off or work through challenges and obstacles, I think they're not telling anybody that you are still their wish fulfillment. They're, they're, they're not saying anything to anybody. That's what I'm picking up. My nose is itching, so I'm getting some kind of confirmation on this. Or somebody's got a cold or seasonal allergies going on right now. Message, what is this excitement, enthusiastic message or relocation coming in through the Jack of Clubs? What is this? The whoop, damn, sorry. <laughs> the world card. Fixed signed energy coming through again. Aquarius. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, like I said, you know, they, they want to put end, an end to certain cycles, okay? But again, a lot of you are at a distance or across the globe or acro across the world from one another as, as well, okay? For some of you. Some of you could live 21 minutes away, three minutes away from each other. You could live 21 miles away from each other, possibly, could be a three-hour drive. They want to have also two. They they want to. They're gonna just say that they want a new beginning because the ships are getting sailed out. This is also about World Wide Web, and I did say some of them are admiring you from a distance, and I just saw two geese fly through the air. I got to relook it up again. I didn't get a chance yesterday, but I saw it happen. There were three geese that were flying. Well, geese represent marriage, I believe. Okay, so I just saw that fly over my garage. Kind of up in the air, though. Okay. Um, they want to start a new chapter. And some of them will be communicating with you on social media. Or if they by chance blocked you on social media, I think they're going to unblock you. That's what I'm feeling. But they're also admiring you. Let's say I'm picking up Instagram very strongly for some of you that have Instagram accounts. Let's see what's going on here. Got to do a little bit of extra clarification here. Let's see, where do I want to go with this? Message from the chariot. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. What did I say about judgment? Sign of Scorpio energy. They want a second chance. Real bad, you guys. They're trying to find the courage and the strength to return back divine feminine. Look at this. 
We go from the seven to the eight to the queen. They're gonna be begging for a second chance. They want this. They want this energy. Six of Cups. They have not forgotten about you. You're on their mind 24 seven. It's haunting them. It is freaking haunting them right now. Not a day goes by for some of you that have been in separation or went through a really heavy breakup, whatever. They haven't forgotten about you. They haven't. This relationship, this connection for some of you is far too deep. And like I said, for some of you, it goes all the way back to childhood. Judgment. It's going to be racing and charging ahead. I'm telling you guys. The energies are starting to pick up again. Message from the King of Wands. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, Prince of Swords, they've been spying on your social media. Not once, but twice. I get it twice. They're trying to seek out or scope out information. They're passionate about you. I feel like some of them are obsessing over you because I'm getting the energy of the devil right now. Send Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with Capricorns. Yeah, and the card just went by kind of fast. So yeah, I'm getting, I got confirmation on that. Okay, world card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And with the way that card went by really fast, it was like all of a sudden as I was shuffling, I was like automatically thinking the chariot. So, okay. Yeah, looking on the bottom of the deck before I pull from the top, two of wands. I said that they're already planning. They're already planning. Message from the world, okay. They're planning, they're gonna send out the SOS, but they're in a little bit of suspension. And again, this has to do with what we're going through in our world right now. But they're gaining wisdom and insight and having a spiritual awakening. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. This hanged man position is not a bad thing. Okay? It's not. Too much forward movement. Three of Wands, Jack of Clubs, the Chariot, Strength, Second Chances. It's written all across the board right now. Let's see. Keep getting these major arcanas kicking in. And uh, Prince of Swords, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The Six of Swords, I told you, they're getting out of Dodge. They're going to get out of the murkiness. They are going to get away from the freaking circus act. King of Wands energy is being very impatient. And with the Jack of Clubs, Coming in like the Knight of Wands would be the second fastest moving knight in the deck. It's been over two weeks now. I've said either the Knight of Swords or the King of Wands. They are getting anxious. And I'm telling you, the energy, it's building up, it's building up, it's building up. Got to clarify judgment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nine of Wands, they're going to have the perseverance and determination to go the distance and ask for this second chance with you, Divine Feminine. Boom. Bottom line. Bottom line. Message from the Hanged Man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. See, they're just waiting to get out of the circus act. They're waiting for the choppy waters to be over with. This is why there's a little bit of a delay, but that's not going to stop them. That's not going to stop them because they've already started planning. They're in a waiting process, waiting process, but they're going to take action and they're going to travel to come and see you. Some of them might have to travel by boat. Some of them might have to. Some of them might be, you could be dealing with the divine masculine that is in the Navy. 
or the Marines. I'm picking up that energy and it's very, I, I've never have heard that message before with this card, but I, for some reason, spirit said, say this, say this, like, okay. All right. Um, they're waiting for the green lights. That's, that's pretty much what it is. That's all it is really. But they're, you know, they're working, they're working on themselves. See if I missed, skipped over anything. They're just going to have the perseverance and determination. Archangel Michael, one more. What is the energy between the four of diamonds and the seven of wands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, that there, there's a change. Change and transformation. Sign of Scorpio kicking in. I think that, I'm telling you, I really do feel they are not saying anything. They're changing and transforming behind the scenes. And I was picking up the moon energy, so the only way that I'm feeling the correlation right now is that the, the full moon tomorrow is going into the sign of Scorpio. So they're not revealing, they're not revealing all of their truths. Message from the sign of Scorpio with death and change and transformation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Okay. They are trying to figure out how to give a proper offer at the same time. I've already got forward movement, so the four of cups, four of cups energy. They know that they didn't listen to your intuition in the past. They, they know they didn't. They know that they rejected your intuition. They're changing. Tell me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more about the Seven of Wands activity. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I gotta end this. Okay, that they're leveling up. It could be that whatever challenges that they've been going through, because see here we have power couple. Power couple energy on the board. And like I said, it's about the two of you working on your independence and your confidence as individuals so that you can come back together as the lovers. It could be that the challenges that they've been faced with, basically what I'm hearing for some of them, that some of these parents didn't allow their sons or daughters to really grow up. That's what I'm also hearing too. But there's major change here. Sign of Scorpio is like, it's like, a, the death card is like a relief. It's like a sign of relief, just like the Six of Swords. It's like a, a soul relief to change and transform. And this is what you've been wanting the Divine Masculine to do. So this is what they're doing. Because see, on the bottom of the deck, they want to celebrate. They want to come together. This is about reunions. Beautiful. Six of Pentacles energy. This is all about give and take. Equal give and take, equal reciprocity. Not being one-sided, not giving to numerous different people. I'm going to end it right here. This is the bottom of the deck. Sign of Leo kicking in through the sun card. Positivity, you guys, this most positive card in all of the tarot deck and always will be. Like I said, it could be kicking in during the summertime process for some of you. Look at how beautiful, look at how powerful that energy is. Chariot, strength card. Sign of Leo kick it in through the sun's energy. I mean, come on, you guys. World. 
Where's my lovers? My lovers. It's like, here's six, six, seven, eight. June, July, and August. Summertime. The world card. Travel. A lot of you have travel plans. Fate and destiny. Blast from the past energy. Wanting a second chance. Change and transformation. Sign of Scorpio coming through. Wanting to celebrate. Leveling up to power couple. Balance. Making arrangements. Getting the hell out of Dodge. Working through challenges and obstacles. You are their wish fulfillment. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. What else is going on? Perseverance and determination. Confidence, independent, not being codependent. Having passion, a driving force. Reaching out, communicating effectively and passionately and enthusiastically. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine non favorable energies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. What's half of twenty two? Eleven. 11, 11, twin flame, soulmate energies. There is a synchronicity here. 22 cards, energies that are powerful, that are outweighing nine unfavorable cards, nine unfavorable energies. Twin flame, soulmate, 11, 11 equals to the number 22. It's all right there. Look at all those cards. Numbers and energies outweigh something else, okay? Outweighed the suspension. Is outweighing the juggling act. Is outweighing them holding back. It's them, it's the energies that are outweighing some form of unsatisfactory energy. Any type of spying, heartbreak, grief, a sense of loss, Regret, remorse, crying over spilled milk, taking a sabbatical, holding back again and again, dealing with the frickin' circus act, the chaos. 22 cards that outweigh energetically this not-so-favorable energy. Okay? All right, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, hit me up for your personal reading at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. All of the specials, again, will be listed in the description box below. I got a roll, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.